Is there any chance that you've been craving a big bowl of ramen on your reduction phase? Well, let me show you how you can have it. Now this part is completely optional, but I do feel like soft boiled eggs are the star of a show in a ramen, especially when they're soy eggs. So you could do this the morning of or the day before and you will definitely be glad that you did. All I did was soak those soft boiled eggs in a mixture of gluten-free tamari, which is a soy sauce and water. For our measured vegetable in the ramen, I'm going to be using bok choy. You're gonna to wanna to chop that up and wash it really well. Along with bok choy, I'm also going to be making some julienned carrots and some thinly sliced garlic, onion, and green cabbage. The green cabbage acts like the noodles in the ramen. These vegetables are all something you could also have pre-prepped in your refrigerator. Go ahead and lay those vegetables out pretty in the bottom of your bowl, and let's get our broth started. I'm gonna be using about two cups of bone broth for each serving. And to give it that ramen flavor, I'm gonna be adding in a dash of gluten-free soy sauce, some cumin, and a small dash of white pepper. Bring the broth up to a boil, and then we're gonna add in our bok choy to quickly blanch it. For additional protein, I'm gonna add in some pre-cooked chicken I already had. Throw on your bok choy, and then lastly, the hot broth goes over those raw veggies to make them nice and soft. Slice open your soft-boiled soy egg and dig in. Enjoy! 